Uh, but one of them, the one that's uh, that, that I just saw that's going to be staring them in the face for some time if they don't do something about it, is that 45 percent of Hispanics voted for Donald Trump. 45. We've all been talking about a new Republican party. That's the part they can't understand, especially when they've been sp spreading this rhetoric about how he's gonna do this mass deportation. He's not doing it for the people who are legally here, doing it for the ones that aren't legal. They gotta go. What's up family, welcome back to the channel. Today, it's gonna be a little different. I ain't going straight into the videos because I'm probably gonna be doing a lot more talking. And I understand that a lot of y'all got in my comments and you were like, you have no other way to talk to me, but in the comments. So I see your comments. I may not answer all the comments. Answering comments can get a little bit overwhelming, okay? So what I did was I went to the community tab on YouTube and I put a poll up asking which platforms do you guys use outside of uh youtube that way we can stay in touch and whichever one that you guys use the most whichever whichever one gets the most clicks is the social platform that i'll promote that way we can stay in contact because i'm not even gonna lie i was so excited when when the election results came in and i told you guys it was gonna be a landslide and that's exactly what it was they won the House, the Senate, all the battleground states. Well, most of them. I ain't going to say all of them, but most of them. You might as well say they won them all because it took them so long to get the results in because they were swaying back and forth about whether they wanted to give him the win. It took them so long to give him 270. And, and with all of that excitement in me and the emotion that came behind it, because I shared some tears, and I didn't share the tear because Trump won, but I shared a tear because my dad... For four years before he passed, he watched this man. He supported this man's campaign. And he never got to see whether Trump would get back into office. And the emotion came because I knew he would be excited. I could see him now, man. So, man, I know my dad is somewhere in heaven, man, jumping around with joy because of this. And I was filled with joy. I was so filled with all of this excitement that I didn't even do a video. I was gonna go live with the election, but this this election was personal. And I'm sure it was personal for all of y'all, but it was personal, man. And I had to really tone in and hone in because my kids were asking me questions. So I had to explain it to them and, and what was going on and why things were happening in the way that it was happening to kind of ease their mind. So yeah, it was a lot going on. Uh, I'm not gonna talk a whole lot. Today, we're gonna be looking at some after election meltdown videos and i'm gonna give my um honest opinion as to what i think about these so it may not be a super long video guys but this is a video to address how i feel and what i think and i do want to say this i don't hate kamala never hated her just didn't like her views and her policies she didn't even really have policies but i didn't like the way that she moved a lot of things stood out to me with her and a lot of that was confirmed last night because she didn't even have the decency to come out and concede with her supporters she just basically said oh i do it tomorrow that should tell her supporters what she think about them so i don't respect that at all so i lost a lot of respect for her last night with the way that she handled that and i don't even know if she's going to speak today today is the actual day after so it's the sixth and I'm going to post this video. Not even caring about the views really, to be honest with you. I'll get back to the regular program the day after, but um, we're definitely going to watch a few meltdown videos and I'm going to give my take on it. But yeah, make sure y'all go to the community tab on YouTube and answer that poll so I can start getting y'all, you know, to go over there and support me. I want it to be the easiest place that you can go somewhere that you're already on a lot. I know a lot of, I have a lot of older people and uh, people my age on this channel. And a lot of people that are my age or on this channel mostly use Facebook. And if you got a Facebook, I have one. I tell y'all to go in, in the description and follow all my social medias. So I pretty much got every, every social media that you probably already got for the most part, all the main ones. But yeah, let's get into these breakdown videos, these meltdown videos, excuse me. So let's get to it, y'all. It's all, we all are gonna just go have the best night. 
on the best night's sleep of our lives, are we? And I chose family. Let's end this reign of terror now. I chose family. I chose women. I chose America. I love you. We're moving on. I'm moving on. We're moving on. <laughs> I love all of them. We really don't even have to panic. We literally don't even have to freak out right now. We don't even have to fucking, like, we don't want to freak out. We don't want to freak out because it's not even real. Because, bitch, freak out the fuck. You know, the sad part about all this is, is how misinformed and how uneducated these people are to think that because Donald Trump became president, the world is about to end. It's actually the quite opposite, y'all, because why are we forgetting like we never had this man in office before? I mean, he's just getting his second term. He's getting his eight years out of the way. And if y'all wanna vote for somebody else by that time, then go ahead and do it. But this man had a plan and his plan was to make America great again. And he was working on that until some oddball people stepped in, but he has quite the lineup now. He was able to get rid of all of those people that were appointed to him when he first started. He knew nothing about being a president, but he knows now. He knows now, and he got the momentum going his second year as president when he really started to show who who he really was as a, as a president, I mean, the commander in chief, right? He really started to show that, but people don't see that. The Democrats, tried to sabotage his whole presidency, which left a stain on his presidency when he left out. But us true supporters, we know the truth. So I don't understand why people are acting like this. I don't get it. This is not okay. This, 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 this simply will not do. And this is not okay. And I'm not good with this. This is fucking, this is sick. This is sick. That should not be there. And they're wrong. And you're. And you know another thing. A lot of the people that are upset are women with the Me Too movement, feminists, and a lot of people that are with the LGBTQ community. They're upset because they know that there are a lot of things that they used to be able to do free willingly. They're not going to be able to do it. He's going to take men out of women's sports. That's a right that should have never even been possible. And, you know, he's going to uh, uh, take a lot of this stuff that's being taught out of the school. And they're still trying to connect Project 2025 to, to him. And, and he've already, he's already explained to you that that has nothing to do with him. But one of the people who actually were a part of drafting up Project 2025 supported Kamala. They endorsed her. You know, I can go on and on about the things that actually contributed to her loss, but I won't do that because this is not what this is. Uh, but we did it, y'all. I forgot to say that. We definitely did it, man. So clap it up. <laughs> clap it up. Give yourselves a pat on the back. Supporting these videos, sharing them, all of that stuff helped. Whether you know it or not, it helped. And let's not get way too ahead of ourselves because we still got to get inaugurated first. So we got to see what is going to be done in between that time, in between now and January. I think it's the 6th, if I'm not, not, not mistaken. But yeah, let's see. My message is that things have to change, and they have to change right now. It is time to show the whole world that America is back bigger and better and stronger than ever before it was pretty red yeah. last night I, I don't know i'm profoundly <laughs> disturbed um i think if you look at the new york times this morning uh the headline was america makes a, a perilous choice i think that in 2016 we didn't know what we would get from um, a trump administration but we know now and um we know now that he will have almost unfettered power and so I worry, not about myself, actually. I don't worry about my station in life. I worry about the working class. I worry about my mother, a retired teacher. I worry about our elderly and their social security and their so Medicare. Care. I worry about my children's future, especially my daughter, who now has less rights than I have.
And I remember my father telling me many, many years ago that I was the first person in, in his family to enjoy full civil rights. And now I have less civil rights than I had when he told me that. So again, I'm profoundly disturbed. How in the hell you got less civil rights now than you did before? When, you, when people say stuff like that and they don't explain thoroughly what the hell they talking about, it's pretty much a made up lie or a fantasy in their head. That's it. The 14th Amendment of the Constitution did not prevent someone who participated in an insurrection from becoming president of the United States. I think that going forward, the convicted felon box on employment applications better be taken off because if you can be the president of the United States, then you should, then you should not be prevented from employment in this country. Because and they failed to realize or failed to mention that they redacted every charge that they gave him. Nobody speaks about that. He was not convicted. He was convicted, but they overturned it because they found evidence that didn't even stick. Y'all tried to destroy that man's character, man. But see, when when the most high is in the middle of it, you can't overthrow nothing. And these people are going to realize that they are demons and they are devils. I think they already know, to be honest with you. Because ain't no way you want the things that you want for this country and don't see nothing wrong with it without being an actual demon. Remember applying for my jobs in a, as a, a federal prosecutor, and there was a box for convicted felons. Well, and so that box better better be taken off. And I, I think our health care system is now at risk. I think um, no fluoride for anyone. Yeah, economists have made clear <laughs> that um, he's going to increase the debt by 7.75 trillion dollars. I'm worried about mass deportation and internment camps, and I'm also worried about Elon Musk warning Americans to prepare for temporary hardship. Um, I'm surprised at the result, but I'm not surprised. As a woman of color, I was so hopeful that a mixed race woman married to a Jewish guy could be elected president of this country. Uh -huh. And um, I think that it had nothing to do with policy. I think this was a referendum of, um, cultural resentment in this country well i think it um you know i'm i'm i think it has to do with a lot of things that being one of them i'm uh i'm obviously very disappointed uh i'm i'm very sad i was at the kamala harris uh headquarters yesterday in washington um and it was it was a very sad scene the mood turned immediately and um I, I tell you, there's, uh, there's a quote I get a lot of inspiration from, and it's a quote that I read when I was reading about John F. Kennedy, and it says, whether I am on the winning or the losing side is not the point with me. It is being on the side where my sympathies lie that matters. And that to me brought me a consolation and inspiration this morning because I have no regrets. Yep. I worked hard as hell to elect the first black Asian woman president. History slipped through our- Which one is it? Is she black and Indian or is she Indian and Asian? I don't know. They gonna, they never gonna get it right. Never gonna get it right. Again, I worked hard as hell for Donald Trump not to be president. But today, unlike Donald Trump and his followers, I acknowledge that he won. I hope right. for the best for our country, and I make a commitment to our LGBTQ, to our immigrants, to our elderly, to our young girls, to the women, that we will not stop fighting. We can be sad today. We already know that The View is full of a lot of radical leftist, feminist, Me Too movement women. So it's hard to really watch a show like that because they have such a biased opinion super biased and when that show was in its earlier time right before a lot of these new cast members came on that it was a pretty good decent show they actually had donald trump on that show a couple of times and they used to call him their friend but yeah man they're not to be trusted nobody in in showbiz is to be trusted to be honest with you you know my issue with all this is how in the hell do you press record and cry on cue and holler ah! on cue it's fake it's fake it's all fake to me and i am so glad i am so so glad that that woman did not get elected because it would have been so bad even if she had got elected i wouldn't have did all of that i'd have been I've, i i would have been 
disappointed, but I wouldn't have been like that. No, no. I would have been like, well, she won. I know what I got to do as a, an individual in America. I know what I got to do to make sure her policies and whatever she put in place doesn't affect me negatively. And then, and, and, and for the people who voted against Trump, who didn't vote for Trump and didn't want him to win, you have to think that same way too. You have to say, you know what? Well, the man won fair and square. I know what I have to do as an individual American to ensure that his policies and whatever he puts in place doesn't affect me neg negatively. And that's just what it is, people. I don't understand this meltdown stuff. I don't. There are so many questions for the Democrats to answer. Uh, but one of them, the one that's uh, that, that I just saw that's going to be staring them in the face for some time if they don't do something about it, is that 45 percent of Hispanics voted for Donald Trump. 45. We've all been talking about a new Republican. Party. That's the part they can't understand, especially when they've been sp spreading this rhetoric about how he's going to do this mass deportation. He's not doing it for the people who are legally here, doing it for the ones that aren't legal. They got to go. Even the, the Hispanics that are legal, they like, look, man, let's get their ass out of here. They got to go because they making things harder for them. Think about it. They're Hispanic. So when these other Hispanic counterparts come across here illegally and they do crazy stuff, we looking at them too. That's typically how it goes. We're looking at them like, oh, you one of them. And they really aren't. They actually are real citizens. So yeah, that's the part that they don't like. They don't like that it's actually Hispanics that are actually voting for this man. But y'all thought that because people listen to you, that you say something about somebody, they're going to actually listen to you. No, they were feeling the consequences and repercussions of those those other immigrants' actions. They were feeling it, and they're tired too. There needs to be a new Republican Party. This morning, this is about as bleak as any time for Democrats since the so-called 1984 San Francisco Democrats. It's time for the Democrats to take a good, long, hard look at how this happened. And if they just say Trump bad, Democrats virtuous, <laughs> They're going to keep losing because this, again, is so widespread. This is not about just Donald Trump. This is about the Democratic Party uh, and, and being radically disconnected from the rest of the country. Look at the map. Well, I'm going to say this and I'm going to leave it here. The problem is not Donald Trump. The problem is, like that man said, is within the Democratic Party. You guys are so power driven to the point where people are starting to smell your bullshit reek from the bag now. And they are, they not having it anymore. Do y'all know how many people have flipped Republican now? Crazy numbers. Democrats have flipped Republican. Crazy numbers. And it's all because they see through the veil. The veil has been lifted and now they know that the Democrats were never up to any good. But like I said, y'all, I'm super excited. I'm still excited, man. I'm still watching coverage on this election. Um, they even tried to make this election go on until the next day, but it didn't work because once they got them, them ballots in in Pennsylvania, that was it. Because all he needed was Pennsylvania. Once he got Pennsylvania, that put him over 270. And that was it and all she wrote. He really won way before that. Because she was sitting at like 90-something for so long. And he had already hit 202. The, the, the map was, a, was so red. I had never seen the map that red. The House and the Senate is now super red. I mean, it's crazy. The amount of control he's going to have in that in the white house is beyond me man and that's what they're scared of they know that he's going to undo everything this last administration did it's crazy but you know what y'all y'all have supported me and you know we're going to keep covering this until january the 6th and I'm, I'm going to go back to a lot of my regular videos uh for those of you who have who have just been here for the politics this is not a politic channel. It's just I was following this stuff. But we're going to get back to our, our, our conspiracy theories and our, our, our alien videos and all of those different things. So y'all can argue with me whether it's real or not because y'all know that's how we started off.
<laughs> but that's how you build great friendships and, and that's how you build a family a new family man and i appreciate y'all y'all are my family um and like i said go over to the community tab and click on that poll so i know how to reach you guys and you guys can reach me but yeah i could rant but i won't and with that being said do what you will with that information and hey if you like what you saw make sure you like comment and subscribe turn on that notification bell so you know when i upload get in the description and follow all of my social medias and remember challenge the argument not the person